Hey golf people, on today's video I'm checking out a new set of irons. This is a set that I cannot believe I haven't tested yet because I've been playing the driver all summer long. These are the Rogue ST Pros. They look really, really sweet. It's a player's look to it, nice and thin. Oh, I can't wait to try these things. The story behind me getting these is a very interesting one, so stay tuned for that. I'll tell you how I got these clubs. Today we're playing nine holes of golf. Our over under is plus three, and there's something a little bit different about me today, guys. Can you guess? I will let you know at the end of this video. Well, guys, after a picture perfect drive, we've got 127 first shot ever with these Rogue ST irons. Other than I took one swing with the seven iron in my simulator before I left, that was the extent of my warm up. Let's see what we do here. I'm gonna go nine iron. Wow, nice and high. Woo, we came up a little bit short. Well guys, now that I'm up here on the green, I can really feel the wind. And if I would have known that back there, I definitely would have taken an extra club, but we'll see how we do here distance-wise with these clubs. They are pressed forward just a little bit in terms of loft. They're a degree and a half to two degrees stronger than the Mizuno Pro 223s you saw me playing last episode. So we'll see how they do distance-wise, but they should be a little bit longer. We'll find out as we go here. All right, we've got 167. I'm gonna go six iron here. We still have some wind into us and this green's a little bit elevated. So we've got to have about a 175 shot, I think. I'll tell you what, that is some towering height out of a six iron for a club with the loft that this has. Again, the feel off the face is very, very hot, but it feels very, very smooth too. You know, these clubs are getting so much better in terms of a forged feel to them. Here's our shot. Good for distance. Technically, that's a green in regulation. Let's see if we can make the birdie putt. Woo! That was a lot more room than I wanted for my par putt, but that's two pars in a row. Well guys, par three here, very similar distance to what we just had. We've got 169 to the hole here. I'm gonna go six iron. Only thing I can't do is go left here. And that last shot did pull a little bit left. I cannot do that here or else I'll be in the bunker. Well, I definitely steered it away from that bunker. We went a little bit right. So again, extremely good height I'm getting out of these clubs. That is impressive. Now feel amazing the only little issue i have here is sound it's uh it's an interesting sound it's not quite a rifle shot and it's not quite tinny it's somewhere in between but it's like a little high pitch it's a little strange it'll take some getting used to anyway we got to get up and down here oh pulled it pulled it pulled it pulled it been pulling putts with this putter lately <laughs> but we're not going to talk too much about the putter we're talking about irons here today so i have yet to really hone in these distances we are going into the wind so it's a little tougher obviously and the wind is kind of swirling but from what i can tell the distance is good not amazing but good so guys, let's talk about how I got these irons. I was approached by a company called curated.com and I'm gonna leave a link down below in case you wanna check them out because it is a super cool process. It started out with me taking a quiz on their site. They asked me questions like how far do I hit a driver? What my current clubs are? What's my swing speed? How far do I hit a seven iron? That sort of thing. Then they paired me up with a real life expert and I was literally texting this guy on his phone. He asked me a number of his own questions and the guy was super friendly super nice completely unbiased and he gave me a number of good options for me that would be close to my game and of course I didn't tell him that I was a golf club reviewer so I went through the process with him and Jimmy's number one recommendation was these rogue ST irons and a light bulb went off because I was like why haven't I tried these things I've literally been playing this driver all year long the rogue ST absolutely love it why haven't I tried the irons 
These irons he thought were perfect for me because they're more of a player's type iron, as we've talked about. I ordered the irons and they were literally at my door within three days of me placing that order. Now they're out here on course with me and I'm really, really enjoying them. Now here's the cool thing. Jimmy told me that they offer a 14 day play trial where I can test them out as much as I want. And if I don't absolutely love them, I can return them and get something else. Super cool. I've left a link down below, check them out. It's a new way of buying. Let's see if you like it. Curated.com, check out the link down below. All right, we've got 136, but again, that wind is pretty good in my face here. And I've got to carry a bunker on the left. The pins cut over the bunker. So I'm going to try to keep this low, hit a lower flighted eight iron shot. Let's see what we do. Well, there's the shot there, just on the fringe in the front. There's our flag stick. Let's see if we get it tight. I am really struggling on these greens right now, guys. Woo. These things sure look nice in the bag. There's one I haven't even unwrapped yet. We haven't hit that one. That's the pitchy wedge. Hopefully we'll hit it on this next one. We've got a par five coming up. I'm also playing a new shaft for the first time. Jimmy recommend this Project X rifle. It's a little bit heavier than what I've been playing. I've been playing like a 95 gram shaft. So it's also interesting to see how this shaft performs. So far, pretty good. I'm not gonna say great because we pulled a shot. We also pushed a shot, but so far pretty good. Let's see what we do here on this par five. And finally, we've got the wind. At least it's a crosswind, it's not into us. Now the four iron of any set, always the hardest club to hit. We're gonna use this here to lay up on this par five. We can't get there, we're too far out. Let's see how the trajectory is with this thing, how easy it is to get up in the air. Guys, that felt absolutely spectacular. Nice height, easy to get up in the air. I hit it dead straight on a rope. I don't think it could be any more center cut than that. You can see the marker there in the middle of the fairway, the 100 yard marker. I would have won the straight line competition here at the club. 113, we're gonna go pitching wedge just to test that pitching wedge out. It's probably a little too much club, but now that we've got more of a crosswind, I'll take a little bit off of it and see what happens. Now we're just past the hole here and it's our first real good crack at birdie. It's time to put one in. Ah! One of these days, one of these days I'm gonna make a medium or long range putt, I promise you. Well, we got a tough lie here in the rough. Pins up today, we've got 151. I gotta make sure I carry the bunker and some water and then being in the rough in that lie. I'm gonna go seven iron here. Not bad, we are going to have a putt at it. Oh! <laughs> All right guys, we finally got the wind a little bit behind us. I've got 154 yards, I'm gonna go eight iron. I might have to step on this a little bit, but we're gonna see what kind of distance these things have. And Ace Cam is officially on. Beep, boop, boop. Oh boy, I didn't get it. Guys, that was an ugly, nasty swing. Ace Cam is officially off. <laughs> And we're hitting three. High fly ball. We're up there on the green. We're gonna have a really long putt for bogey. I really wish that was my first shot. <laughs> that second guy, he always comes to play, doesn't he? Oh, <laughs> yes! What a putt, guys. It only takes a couple of bad shots to ruin around and only a couple of good putts to save it. And we did that right there. We've got a par five ahead of us. Let's see what we can do. We had a really nice drive, but we got massive bunker in the front and the pin is tucked behind it. There's no chance of going at it. So we're just gonna lay up here with the four again. One twenty-one again. Pin cut right over that bunker. It's very, very narrow between the end of that bunker and the end of the green. It's super narrow in there. So I'm going to aim a little right of the hole because everything goes a little right to left here. But we're going to go pitching iron. We're going to get aggressive here, and we're going to see if we can knock one tight. Oh, hopefully, it's enough. Is it enough? Oh, 
Guys, just over the green a little bit here. Now this one is makeable. I'm gonna give it a run here. I think I can put this one in. Ooh, ooh, give it a run. Oh, oh my gosh. That's how you go from a birdie to a bogey. Oh, just got a little too aggressive there, guys. That puts us in a tough position, but we can still do this. We've got a par four. We've got to have a par. Well, guys, as we are heading up to my ball here, I want to tell you about who I think these clubs are for. For me, these clubs are going to be for your lower handicaps towards the higher end. So I'm talking five, six, seven, eight, nines. And then in terms of double digit handicaps, maybe all the way up until about 12. I really think that's the sweet spot for these clubs. What I've liked about these clubs here today is they are long. The feel is incredible. The height that I'm getting on these shots, really spectacular. The sound is something I could definitely live without. And I think consistency for me, and maybe it's the shafts a little bit, but with these clubs, consistency for me is just a little bit lacking. It does seem to explode off the face, but in some ways, I'm just not sure if I can trust these distances. All right, guys, we've got 110 to the flag stick. I'm gonna go pitching wedge here and take a little bit off again. Let's see if we can do it. Looks like I'm just off the green guys here. <laughs> guys i did not want to leave that putt for par but we did manage to make it i hope you enjoyed this episode guys thank you to curated who sponsored this video and where i bought these rogue st irons again if you want to check them out i've got a link down below of course when you hit any link in our show it helps support this show and for all of you who are playing at home what was different about me today i had sneakers on <laughs> forgot my golf shoes Hope you enjoyed this one, guys. Here's a couple of other videos you're gonna really like. I'm gonna be choosing a new set of irons. It might be these or it might be something else. We're gonna find out here real soon. Until then, I'll catch you back here very soon on another edition of Let's Play Through.